Hello there everyone and welcome back. So we're looking at more of my uniforms. Today, however, we're looking at some fantasy stuff. To be correct, Warhammer Fantasy. This is a Lunchknecht inspired uniform since the Empire is very much inspired by real life Germany during the 1500s. Um, and yeah. So, uh, here we have it. I actually made this myself, believe it or not. I made the jacket and the pants. And, uh, the cod piece as well. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and do some jumping just to show you. Uh, I can't remember why I did that, actually. <laughs> but I, I think it's just to show how, how well it actually uh, sits on me. Uh, and it's sliced fabric, just like the Lunchknecht used to do. The only thing, there's a few, there's a few things I have with it. The, the pants are a bit short, I think. I think I could have made them a little bit longer, or maybe the, uh, the fitting. Yeah, the cod piece as well. I think it's actually a bit small. I remember when I made it, that I didn't want to make it too big. But now when I look back at it, I actually probably should have put some more stuff in it. And then we got the arm. Another problem with that was the way I made it there. Um, uh, I made it too wide. Oh yeah, so uh, also I did slice there on the front. It looks... I, lo I, I know someone in the last video I made of this... Uh, said it was very dark. It actually looks, I think at least, it, the yellow comes through a lot more when you're walking around. And I think since I was down in the basement, um, you couldn't really see it as well. And then I'm showing a bit of the fabric. So it's a it's a thicker wool fabric, and then we have a uh, a lighter linen fabric in there yellow and black I probably should have done some more yellow uh, on on sort of the sort of the main piece rather than having it all be yellow on sort of the inside right so we're gonna show uh, some accessories you'll have you can have to this and this is a, a breastplate it's actually not mine I gave this to my brother uh, for Christmas one year uh, but I have it here because he hasn't brought it with him and you should note here that I cannot put it on completely myself sort of crossed on the back as you're supposed to so I'm just hanging it on so it's gonna hang a bit lower than it's supposed to roughly there is where it's supposed to be uh, but it's gonna hang quite low on me um, uh, yeah, as you can see, it, it hangs sort of, it, it doesn't hang very well, but I'm going to put a belt there, another, what if you, what, what am I saying now? Um, uh, <coughs> I, as with Warhammer stuff, or most stuff really, uh, the more accessories you hang onto the uniform, the better it looks, especially with Warhammer, with clutter stuff, and here we can see a little uh, leather purse or bag, whatever you want to call it. It's really nice details on it. I'm not entirely sure if you can see that, but it's really nice details. I don't actually remember wh where I got it. The only thing about it is that it has a bit of water damage in one of the corners um, where it's a bit, and I think I actually got it on a, well, I say water damage, but it was miscoloration. Um, and I, I think I got it a bit on discount for that, but it's it's uh, it's very nice details on it, so it's a very nice piece. I don't actually have that many actual like Warhammer stuff. I wish I would have had like Hammers of Sigmar and maybe some uh, changed. Out. I've seen I've seen other that sort of uh, LARP or should you call it cosplay uh, Warhammer. That's done a lot of nice stuff, so I don't have anything of that. And to be honest, I never actually completely finished this. 
but yeah, there we go. It helps a little bit with a belt keeping the breastplate up. And uh, yeah, obviously you can hang a lot of other, have a lot of other belts on that I'm not actually going to show right now because it's going to take too long to just hang stuff and keep me f fiddling with it. Um, so yeah, you need something on your head, and so we start with an arming cap, which I've made myself as well. This one, I'm actually really, I I picked it up, and I'm really impressed with it that I was able to make it as well as I did. Uh, there's some minor things on this one as well, but I I really like the uh, the I it's, I can't even sometimes. Uh, sort of believe that I made it. Uh, but put that on, give that sort of uh, the military feel the, with the arming cap. Looks a bit like a baby hat or like what you what I think is the reaction I think mostly people uh, sort of that I've shown it. What, why do you have a baby cap? Well, it's, no, it's no, no, it's an arming cap, you moron. Anyway, since we want to be fancy, just like the Overlanders, did I say it was from that it is the Overland? The Overlanders, of course, are very fancy uh, since they're rich, so they usually have very fancy stuff. So we put a black beret on there, uh, on top of the arming cap, which I think. Uh, Makes a very nice impression. I'm not entirely sure why I look so angry. It might be because it's quite hot. Uh, or warm. Hot sounds wrong. <laughs> um, I was actually... This is actually the second... Oh, we're going out to weapons. Right. Since it is LARPing, I do have a LARPing weapon for it. Or a, a foam rubber weapon. Um, and it's a uh, Swihant or, or two-handed sword uh, that I bought from uh, second hand from a guy and they are just to give the the length of it the door is about what well, the standard of doors is two meters and I am 180 and the sword might be what, 175 centimeters so it's a pretty big sword and it got some nice leather detail so it's very it's a very nice sword the only thing about it is it's I oh it goes hit the lamp uh, it's got a bit of since it's latex on the outside the latex sort of it doesn't react very well with uh, sunlight so I think uh, that has been like I've I've had it in the uh, in my room close to the window and sun has come in and, and sort of m done some miscoloration. I have repainted parts just for this video and then we see some uh, l l nice the nice leather uh, there is in sort of the uh, is it called a half hand grip where you sort of if you come close in and you need to uh, be able to slice a bit better you have that, so you sort of shorten the uh, the reach of your weapon. Very nice looking. Obviously, people are gonna talk about me getting a a real uh, Swihand, but that's that's quite expensive, and that would be for something later on. Um, didn't talk about the shoes. Uh, I was about to. I was actually showing them in an earlier video which I, I I had to redo this and in the earlier one I actually showed the the shoe up close um, but it's not that much it's it's a pretty nice shoe though um, okay here we go the uh, the helmet I should say in all of this if you want more pictures and there are uh, I post a lot of them on Instagram so here we go a uh, a helmet that was very popular during the 1500s, the Spanish, Spanish-Italian, uh, Morion helmet, most notably for the conquistadors, the conquistadors, I should say. Um, 
So, uh, I do believe that I gave this is also a gift. Yeah, I'm, I'm being Italian, if you, or Spanish. Uh, I guess Italian since I'm talking with my hands. Um, I believe I, this is also a gift I gave to my brother. And he hasn't picked him up since he lives in another town. And he doesn't actually... Uh, he has to travel by bus. And there's, um, I guess, some problem bringing this with him. The uh, easiest way is to wear stuff. But wear armor parts is a bit too much. Um, and here we go. Some other weaponry. We've got a shield and just a one-hand sword there. I was actually thinking, I was inspired actually by something I saw on Instagram where there was a uh, there's a girl in Australia that uh, does sort of LARPing as Overland and uh, she had this really nice banner of the the sun that is the symbol of the Overlanders uh, which I was thinking maybe I should paint that on the front of the shield uh, I'm looking over to the side there because I'm looking to camera see how it actually looks. The shield is um, some form of foam with sort of the same latex stuff covered over it. So uh, it's completely sort of that foam. I'm not entirely sure why I did cl a close-up of it. It's only black and there's not very many nice details. But we can see some nice details here on the side of the helmet. Which I like this sort of uh, folding. Um, anyway, <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, yeah, talking with my hands again. Uh, so yeah, any questions and stuff? Uh, free to c uh, comment about it. Um, more pictures will definitely be be put on Instagram of this. If you haven't seen that. And uh, I still got some more historical stuff uh, if people are more interested in that. But hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Bye.